It's almost so Halloween and you're probably wondering what you're going to wear. Classic monsters are always a good choice, but maybe, maybe you want something a little less scary and easy to replicate. This zombie look captures the best of both worlds. It's delicate, romantic, and dark. If you don't clean your skin, the sebum will create an invisible layer preventing the foundation from adapting to your skin, giving you a cakey look. Apply your favorite primer. Priming your T-zone is important because then your makeup won't slip and slide. That way your makeup will last for hours upon hours. Use an oil for your foundation, two to three shades lighter than your skin, and apply it with a stippling brush. Try not to go too light because we're still going to build up on the definition. Don't forget your jawline. Blend towards your hair lobes. Apply your favorite concealer. I prefer using a concealer brush because it prevents semen from contaminating my concealer. Take a generous amount from the concealer so you don't have to go fish out for more. Now with a foundation brush, blend your concealer. You're going to use a white face paint stick and you're going to highlight your T-zone, your cheekbones, the center of your chin, and above your eyebrows. With a foundation brush, you're going to blend everything in. With a blush brush, mix matte yellows and whites and brush them all over your face. This will give your skin a natural yellow tone. Set your makeup with a transparent face loose powder. With a powder brush, sweep it on the powder puff and apply it to your face. This way you'll have more control on how much loose powder goes on your face. Don't forget your eyes. With a shader or concealer brush, Use eyeshadows, three to four shades darker than your foundation. Lightly contour from the bridge to the tip of your nose. Smooth out the harsh edges with an angled brush. With a large shader or foundation brush, use the same color and apply it to both sides of your nose. Then with a shader brush, contour the hollows of your cheeks. Don't worry if they look too harsh, because now you're going to blend them in. Be sure to really blend in the hollows of your cheek. You want them to look smooth. Then you're going to contour your jawline. And again, blend it very well. Define your eyebrows. Emphasize them enough so they stand out, but not too much so they look fake. Make sure to retain your eyebrows natural shape. If your eyebrows are short like mine, then elongate them. It is important for you to prime your eyes because then your eyeshadows will increase. And if you're going to a party, that's the last thing you want. I really love Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Using a shading brush, pick a shimmery white color and apply it all over your eyelid. Pick a rosy red and contour the inner lower eye socket region. This is going to be your undertone and it will warm up your eyes. With the same color, apply it to your crease. Now pick a red shade and intensify the inner corners of your eye socket. Pick a medium brown and shade above your crease. Then you're going to blend outwards using your finger or a blending brush. The same white shimmering powder re-highlight the center of your eyelid. With a medium brown, create an eye crease a little below your waterline. The Q-tip and white shimmering powder shade between the waterline and the crease you created. With black waterproof liner, tight line your eyes. Use a Q-tip to hold up your eyelid. Now with a black eyeshadow, shade your crease then stop midway. Then shade towards the outer corners of your eye, like a V. 
I chose a cat eye because I believe it suits a lot of eye shapes and it's easier to do. Don't forget to blend the harsh edges. With a liner brush and the same eyeliner, blot out the excess and apply a thin line to your eyes. Ink in towards the crease you created to emphasize it. Carefully curl your lashes. Using your favorite mascara, apply a couple of layers of mascara to your lashes. Don't forget your lower lashes, you want that doll-like effect. Using a dark red lip liner, carefully line your lips. You want the edges of your lips to be perfect. Now shade the rest of your lips with the same lip liner. Don't forget the corners! It's time for the fun part. So draw the dripping blood from your bottom lip. I prefer drawing the blood because often fake blood tends to peel away. This way, it will keep looking fresh. With a dark gray, count over the bridge of your nose, but stop midway. Sweep outwards towards your cheek. Now you're going to re-highlight just to give that finishing touch and definition. With a wine brown eyeshadow, count your parts of your dripping blood to add more depth. And with a rosy gloss, highlight the blood trails. Finish up your lips by adding gloss to them. See how it looks like blood? And it will peel as the hours progress. Using a red blush, sweep off the excess and apply it underneath your cheekbones. That way you'll have some color. Sweep your forehead near the hairline. If you want, add a beauty mark or even freckles. Now that you're done with your makeup, you can style your hair. You can wear it down, but I don't think I'm going to wear it up. To make it even more cute, add some flowers to your hair. Finally, with a setting spray, spray it all over your face so that makeup will last even longer. And you're done! And now you're ready for Halloween. Look adorable, but still kind of scary. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye! Music by Kano Wakishima. And Mary. Have a happy Halloween. And don't forget that you're amazing, so stay beautiful.